every one of us imagines our ideal dream vacation a bit differently. But it would be a shame to just lie on the beach, sit at a bar, or laze by the pool. Especially since, regardless of where you're flying in from, you'll spend several hours getting here. And let's not kid ourselves. Anything more than two hours in an airplane just isn't much fun at all. Uh. Not to mention the overpriced food served on planes. Right from the start, let's make one thing clear. I'm not an extreme climber, ready to surmount dangerous peaks. Or a marathon runner. I'm a completely normal, average pencil pusher. who just likes to take a nice walk every once in a while. And this time around, I didn't stay idle. We'll go all the way to the edge and peer into the heart of long since extinct volcanoes. We'll conquer the highest mountain, Pico de la Zarza, at an altitude of 800 meters above sea level. The beaches, of course, they are about 170 kilometers of them around here. And one of them is actually right below the highest mountain. Fuerteventura is often called the island of endless beaches, and the longest of them is truly almost endless. We'll look into its history, including pre-Spanish times, when the mythical Guanches ruled the island. The longest hike, at a length of about 16 kilometers, will take us through the mountainous center of the island. We'll give you some tips as to what to do if you don't feel like lounging by the water. We'll walk through the largest dunes in the Canary Islands. We'll try to figure out who is actually at home here and who truly rules this place. The first and second towns established on the island couldn't escape our attention either. I didn't manage to do or see everything by far. This is just a small taste of what there is to do. Try something new. Let yourself be inspired. My name is Voita, and it will be my honor to be your guide. Thus, welcome to the fantastic island of Fuerteventura. <laughs>